Right, so we're on to race number six. I think it's race number six anyway. I've lost count already. But, uh, oh, that's a really cool colour for that Porsche. Like a lime luminous green. I'm going to get trapped by this 300 SL, are we? Right, so I've twigged that it is modern against classic in the first two races. And then in the second two, I'm guessing it's going to be classic against modern. Or what was modern at the time of the game coming out, because it's certainly not modern anymore. They're almost classics themselves, these cars now. Okay, so we do all right there. And this track is a lot longer than the other one. So we are getting on now. And that Stingray is absolutely blitzing me for pace on this uh, straight here. But can we go through here quite nicely? I think we're not doing too bad there. This Carrera handles lovely. Look at that. This is this is even better than the uh, S2000 handling. Okay, didn't think that was going to come up there. Certainly going to be where we're going to overtake the Stingray. It is on the corners because as soon as it gets onto a straight, it is leaving us. Right, here's another corner. Let's see what we can do here. Apparently not very much. I'm surprised I didn't um, get a penalty there for hitting the wall. Oh, a little bit of lag through there. Oh, not another straight. This is going to be battle of the straights and corners. You can see the other ones are miles behind at the moment. Just having to uh, track this stingray down. Let's get on the brakes a lot earlier this time. That was better. But uh, yeah, this this is handling really nicely. No dramas through the corners at all, unless I break too late. That's the only drama that's going to happen. You can see how much more slowly this Stingray's got to go through the corners. Taking that a bit too wide there, but this is where we're going to lose him, big time. Spooling up the imaginary turbos again. I'm pretty sure that doesn't have a turbo either. Just a heckin' big, big engine in there, I think, is the, uh, the reason for that horsepower. There we go. Can we get on the inside? We can. That's quite nice. Get the lead early on. Let's see if we can take this one better this time. A little bit wider than I wanted, but at least I didn't hit the inside of the barrier that time. And again, looking behind me and getting disorientated. Seeing where he's going. Is he going for it? Right, let's get early on the brakes this time. That was a lot better through there. Yeah, these are definitely going to start taking longer, these races. The tracks are getting a lot bigger. We've absolutely dropped him at this point. I'm not sure what happened there. Did he crash into the wall or something? Much easier when you get a car like this. Just absolutely glides through the corners. Very nice indeed. Get early on the brakes again. Oh, nearly hitting the inside. Be nice to do it on the first attempt. I'm pretty sure this is my first attempt, wasn't it? I'd say this is one of the easier ones we've done so far. The um, that second one with the Ford Mustang is probably is that the hardest one? I'd say that's probably the hardest one, just because it was so small and you had to try and take that Nissan Skyline on. You didn't have much time to overtake it, whereas this is plenty of track, so it's definitely not as bad. As you can see, we're really dropping that uh, Stingray now. Not taking the best lines either. Luckily, this car's really easy to get used to quickly. We can um, adapt to this one. Not too bad at all. Come around this corner for the last time. Can't even see him now. Absolutely done him. The green machine has won this one. Very nice indeed. Actually got a clean race as well, so that's a bonus. Big bonus indeed. How far behind was he? Oh, the uh, 275 actually overtook it. That was a little surprising. 
But uh, yeah, that's done. Let's move on to the next one.